Welcome to the Nicholas 11X12 technology. Today we're looking at a very, very interesting smartphone. To be specific, the MLAS M52 Red Note featuring an 8-core processor, 4G LTE, and the Android 5.0 OS. This phone currently comes in at a price of about 157 US dollars on Banggood.com, which is indeed cheap for a phone with these specs. Thank you very much Banggood.com for sending me this phone to review. <music> In the box we find the smartphone itself, the USB cable, as well as the charger rated at 1 amp. Also included a manual and interestingly we get the serial numbers for some reason. I'm not sure what's up with that though. So where should I start? The build quality is fairly good I'd say, I mean you can't expect too much from $157. I've asked Banggood.com to send me the black version of this M52 Red Note, but it's also available in blue, red and white. The back cover is matte, but in terms of touch it feels more glossy than matte in my opinion. Still a good grip. On the bottom we have the speaker. Up here the 13 megapixel main camera with a fairly powerful LED flash. On the front we also have the 8 megapixel front camera with an 88 degree wide angle, which is not bad at all. On the top we have the micro USB connection as well as the 3.5mm audio jack. On the left the volume rocker, on the right the power button, on the bottom the mic. As I've said before, this phone comes with the Android 5.0 OS, which is very rare right now for phones in this low price point. The M52 Red Note has a 5.5 inch IPS OGS display with a screen resolution of 1280 by 720 pixels. The color reproduction and the viewing angles are great, however the display has a tiny little bit of a blue tint to it, but nothing you would worry about. The touch responsiveness is good. The M52 Red Note makes use of the fairly powerful MediaTek MT6752 8-core CPU clocked at 1.7GHz and combined with the Mali T760 GPU, gaming definitely is an option here as you can see. I didn't experience laggy situations yet. I'm very impressed to see 16GB of internal storage here. Really not bad at that price point. Same goes for the RAM, 2GB of it. As for the battery, we have a removable 3200 mAh lithium polymer battery, which is not bad, but also not that much for the specs of this phone. Still, I managed to get through a whole day easily and even had enough juice left for the second day. That's always depending on the way you use your phone, of course. Two SIM cards can be installed here, a regular mini SIM card and a micro SIM one. Also, you could extend the storage by using this micro SD card slot that supports up to 64 gigabyte cards instead of 32 like on most cheap phones. The overall responsiveness of this M52 Red Note is good I'd say, but sometimes you get to see some kind of delay or maybe even lag going on inside the menus. In the end 2 to benchmark this M52 Red Note scores about 44,500 to 45,000 which is a really high score. We got a similar high score in Geekbench with about 810 points in the single core test and 4,200 in the multi core test. Without a doubt we're talking of a high end phone here. The Wi-Fi signal unfortunately as with most cheaper phones isn't that great in rooms with a weaker signal, but it's okay. Something that's really rare on smartphones at these price points is 4G LTE. Well, this M52 Red Note has it. Very nice. The internal speaker sounds fine, but is a bit on the weaker side when putting it down on the table. I find the volume to be too low. For $157, finally a cheaper phone with very very acceptable audio quality through headphones or earphones. I mean it's not top notch, but there's certainly not much of a noticeable difference anymore between the quality on this phone compared to the more expensive ones. Once again another factor most cheaper phones fail at. The MLAS M52 Red Note also comes with assignable gestures as well as the famous double tap option that I personally quite like. The camera quality is fine, some images actually turned out really well for a smartphone and we always have to keep the price in our minds. While the final results may look good and all, actually taking the photos is a bit of a different story. It's not really a good experience taking photos with this phone, since the focus is not the best here. First you have to tap the object to get it in focus properly and then quickly reach the shutter button and yeah, I guess you know what happens next, often. Same goes for video, the quality is fine, certainly not 1080p, but it's okay. I mean yeah it says it's 1080p when imported into the computer, but clearly the footage gets upscaled, which doesn't count. The MLAS M52 Red Note definitely is not a bad smartphone, since we always have to keep in mind the fairly low pricing of just about $157.
and for an 8-core CPU, a 13 megapixel camera, 4G LTE, Android 5.0, a good large display, and pretty good battery life that's really impressive actually. While as always with these cheaper phones, there are some little downsides, you can't expect too much at this price point. And at such it did really well, and I love seeing Android 5.0 in that phone. Therefore I can for sure recommend this Emily's M52 Red Note smartphone. Once again, thanks a lot to Banggood.com for sending me this phone to review and making this review possible. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe, and visit nicholas11x12techx.com to see videos there earlier than on YouTube.